Absolutely. So I've been asking everybody this question. I'm going to ask you it too. Um, we've done fanfare, fanfare of CMA Fest for 50 years. So you're in between two acts from the history of this thing, before and after who's playing. Oh my gosh, before and after? Yeah, you have one before, one after. Wow. Keith Whitley and George Jones. Oh, that's, the, that's like the best answer I've heard. Yeah. It's dead, it's dead on. It'd be pretty awesome. Right on point, I love it. Yeah. Well, this has been Tracy Lawrence again, one of my favorite people in Nashville, and I'm Marcus K. Dowling, the Nashville Country Music Reporter of Tennessee. Thanks so much, man. <laughs> so, um, one more thing. We have a fun question that we're asking everybody tonight, everybody all the nights. Um, if you could pick your perfect set list, somebody to go before you, someone to go after you, any act of CMA Fest history, who would it be? Uh, after me? Sure. Eric Church. All right. It's going to be badass. Looks like dreams do come true, huh? I play with Eric a bunch. I love Eric. <laughs> but uh, I think it's a great lineup today. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of this lineup. So uh, I've been asking everybody this question. I'll ask you this too. So we have 50 years of CMA Fest this year. So you're an artist and you have somebody playing before you and somebody playing after you. From the history of this thing, you can be anybody. Who do you choose before and after? Um, I don't know. I would say, well, tonight, one of my favorite artist of all time, Tracy Lawrence, is playing before us. So I'll go with Tracy playing before us like he is tonight. I, I just did the podcast. I love it. Yes, <laughs> I love Tracy. Um, playing after us, I think uh, Alabama, the group Alabama, my favorite of all time. So uh, I didn't know you were an Alabama guy. Oh, I'm a huge Alabama fan I'm of the it. band. Yes. Let's make sure you're talking about the band. <laughs> Marcus, don't, don't get it twisted up now. But yeah, those are Alabama's. They were the Beatles for me. They were uh, what made me really want to be an artist and singer. And uh, anytime I get a chance to to uh, have Tracy Lawrence on one end and Alabama on the other end, that's a pretty good night. Cool. All right. Well, we are asking everyone one last question. Um, kind of, what is your dream set if you could pick someone to go on before y'all and after you? Mm. Anyone in CMA Fest history? Oh my gosh. What's your what's your what's your lineup? Before and after. Um, and I, I think for some reason my after is definitely Alan Jackson. Oh, awesome! But I don't know who the before. I would be. say they, they might get mad at us for for saying this, um, but I would I like playing shows before or after. <laughs> Brothers Osborne. Oh, that'd be amazing! All right. Brothers Osborne, us, Alan Jackson. We have yes. consensus with that answer? Yeah, sure, yeah. All right, cool. Well, thanks guys for your time awesome. and have fun out there. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.